This is going to be a video tutorial on how to set up MLA format using Google Docs. I'm going to jump over to the Chrome browser here and I'm just on the normal Google search page. I'm going to go to Google Docs. I'm going to go up to the Google Apps in the top right hand corner. It's the uh, dotted square. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to find Google Docs in here. Right here it is. I'm going to select this. Then I'm going to select blank. The first thing I'm going to do is change my font to Times New Roman. I'm going to select Times New Roman and I'm going to change it to 12 points. Now I'm going to double click on the header area to go into the header and I want to also change that, the font, to Times New Roman, 12 points. And now I want to write a line. I'm going to click on this. And now I'll type my last name. And I'm going to hit a space to create a space. And then I'm going to go up to Insert, down to Page Number, and I want my page number to be in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to select this first one right here, top right corner. And then I'm going to click out of the header area. Next thing I want to do is make sure I have one inch margins all the way around. It's default for Google Docs, but I'm going to make sure that it's set on that. I'm going to go to File, down to Page Setup, and then I'm going to make sure that I have one inch all the way around, which I do. I'm going to click OK. Now I want double spacing, so I'm going to go up to I'm going to find line and paragraph spacing right here. If you put your uh, mouse cursor over this part of the ribbon, you'll see line and paragraph spacing. I'm going to select that. I'm going to change it to double. Now I'm going to type my first and last name. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type the teacher's name. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type the class name. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to type the date, the month, and the year. I'm going to hit enter. Now for the title, you want to center align the title. So I'm going to go up to the ribbon here and I'm going to hit center align. Then I'm going to hit enter, and for the paragraphs, you want to go to uh, left align, left align. And you want each paragraph to be indented a half an inch. Up here at the top, the ruler, you have a triangle and a rectangle. You want to move the rectangle over 0.5 inches. Now I will begin adding my paragraphs. I'm just going to copy and paste. And now, you, as you can see, all the paragraphs are indented a half an inch. Now for a works cited page, you want to create that on a new, on a new page. What I'm going to do is go up to Insert down to break and I'm going to select page break. So now I have a new page. And now I'm going to create my title for my works cited page. I'm going to go to center align. I'm going to select that. I'm going to type works cited. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to go to left align. 
and when creating a works cited page you want to create a hanging indent I'm going to paste in my uh, my first citation and we actually want to indent this the reverse way the way to do that I'm going to go back up to the ruler here I'm going to move that little rectangle back to zero then I'm going to move the triangle and the rectangle over to a half inch, 0.5 inches. Then I'm going to move the rectangle back over to the side, to zero. And there is a hanging indent. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to create my next one. I'm going to hit enter, create my next one. That's the way you create a hanging indent, and that is the way you set up MLA format using Google Docs. Thanks for watching.